This is part two of my transmitter series. In this video, I'm going to cover some things about the technical aspects that I didn't cover in the previous video. As long as my battery doesn't die first. <laughs> so basically, um, I have the light so on so it's easier to see. The tune cast circuit is basically the ever so popular Rome BH. 1415F control circuitry. Um, there's the shift clock, the shift data, and the strobe wires coming out, which are just twisty tied together, and back to the processor. So that's how this gains control. The only problem with the tune cast is if you power on the unit and there's no audio flowing through. There's actually a transistor somewhere in here because the TuneCast has its own processor. Yet, I'm controlling it independently. That processor still cuts the power off to that semiconductor. So, even though you're tuning up and down, it's going to do nothing because the CPU or the CPU doesn't have power going to that chip. As soon as it hits audio, the little LEDs come on and then you get power to the chip. But that's no big deal. And then over here, is your standard LM324 op amp that amplifies the signal to be able to drive that VU meter and then there's your left gain and your right gain to equalize the meter. Meter is just really for show but if you get it set up right you can check for over modulation stuff like that but um, when I did design this thing I tried to think ahead a little bit I have this makeshift cardboard aluminum foil duct tape Faraday cage to try to keep the signals emitted from this amplifier in this amplifier and not everywhere else which about 80% worked you know if I put the lid back on it it actually works quite well but not all that great it, it does work though but anyway the amplifier is a five stage setup and you're probably asking why there's so many stages well three reasons why number one the tune cast is not a 50 ohm output and I'm using a 50 ohm pigtail cable that goes around as shown there um, but the tune cast is not 50 ohms I don't know what impedance it is but it's hooked straight to the output where you remove the inductor to increase the power so that's one big reason reason number two is these transistors are your generic Radio Shack 3904's or 2N2222 or whatever which is not really suited for this application yes it works but it's not efficient at such a high frequency to where you're going to get gobs of gain out of it so you need a lot of stages and number three the way it's built you've got these red loop wires which is your coupling to all your inner stages and just wires everywhere and this little perf board and then you're losing gain and impedance that way so you know I just pretty much had to build all these stages and plus notice I have an odd number of stages I did think ahead because these are standard class C or AB or whatever it is amplifiers so this takes a signal inverts it this inverts it back well you got to be careful because if this stage had a lot of gain since I don't have any plates to couple between each stage what happens is if this is putting out so much gain it can cause a feedback to go back here and it will cause parasitic oscillation between the stage which is bad very very bad thing and so I had to do an odd number of outputs so this is if this signal when it's at a high period the outputs on a low period so the all your current and all your amplification is really going on in this stage here and it's not gonna come all the way back from ambient air and cause that to go into self oscillation or whatever 
Plus, these since the stages are not really using suitable transistors, it, they, each stage don't have a lot of gain anyway, so there's not enough gain coming from each stage to cause that big of a problem. So I did think ahead there, and I didn't have any oscillation issues. So, but anyway, notice each stage I have trimmer capacitors. I found that if you don't use these and you just connect it together like you'd connect anything else together, it don't work or works very inefficiently. Uh, in my case, I hooked a one mega ohm scope to it. Since most scopes are one mega ohm, it did not work whatsoever. So that's pretty much that.